All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna go ahead and swap out the white cover for a carbon fiber piece. And fiber pieces from Extreme Online Stores. So let's go ahead do this one. So right now. There you go. Shorter one is bottom. Longer one is top. I'm gonna let this hang. I don't think I'll need all, all that. All right, next it looks like I'm gonna need some T's. Uh, yeah, it's a T10. So you will need a T10 to remove these. Let's go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna... Oh, we're missing one right here. I always like to clean any of my parts as well, so this is all gonna get wiped down really good uh, before we put anything on. Just All right, now we're gonna disconnect, remove some of the wires. And that's basically how you do it. You, you just push in. All right. Now let's go ahead and swap parts. Lighter, much lighter right here. Compared to the factory OEM. It looks a lot nice. I can't wait to put it on. Uh, definitely a piece that's been missing for this vehicle. All right, so go to put it on. We'll go here. I'm doing it simultaneously, see if that helps. All right, so when you put them in, um, you wanna push them in at the same time. Before I do that, I want to clean everything up. So. Usually when I do my work, uh, I like to give any place I touch or clean a good wipe down. That one over there. Went behind here. This wire's gonna go behind this hook. Now I'm just kind of realigning everything. Slide it through here. I'll clip everything last and then do my connections last. This one once. You want to go ahead and tighten this one first. You could pilot these through, uh, but don't tighten them all the way. And then just continue. So now we're going to do this top left. It has a little bit of play on it. Make sure it goes. So it's five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's go ahead and connect our pins. Long top, short bottom. That's pretty much it. Looks good though. Nice, looks good. Pretty flush. I tightened it really good right here. I wanted to make sure everything sat well. And that's how you install the carbon mirrors. All right, we just did the same thing. We deassembled everything, removed the pins, the wire right here. I left this one hanging um, as it does not be on there. Um, now we're just gonna go ahead and remove this. Uh, we're gonna unscrew this bad boy and then we'll continue on the driver's side now. And remember, um, remove big clip first 
start pushing this one then slide it outward um, to relieve pressure without breaking these chrome pieces all right so now i screwed this in and then i'm just making sure that this is kind of flush i noticed on the other side it sticks out but i think that's how it sits uh you just want to make sure when you're um screwing everything in that you're constantly pushing this back in and align it as close as you can for any uh gaps to prevent it from like however your finish is so right now i'm screwing in this one while pushing in um and then just seeing where it lays pretty much the gaps are pretty good on the other side i left it i tightened it too much without aligning all right, once I put everything back together, I just uh, tried something different um, to try to get this a little more flush. After I tightened everything up, I loosened up the back bolt and then I pushed it in, tightened it. And you'll see where it starts to tighten up uh, the carbon. Um, obviously you don't want your piece to fall off. So I kept it tight, but not super tight. Kind of how the finish will be. And then um, I just made sure my gappings are really good on this side as well. Uh, everything sat pretty good and you can see everything sits really well underneath that's factory um but where the carbon is look at that really nice molding nice all right and then just if you get confused white stripe would be on top and then um solid white stripe would be on top black solid black would be on bottom when you connect your uh ground and power i believe one's ground one's power all right okay and then 